Hi guys, Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay, you guys, I'm coming with a DIY, basically a Dollar Tree DIY and a little bit of Hobby Lobby. So this is what we're creating. Um, it's a it's kind of a wreath. <coughs> Excuse me, it's a wreath and a tobacco a tobacco tobacco basket. Oh, that's kind of hard to say. Um, you don't have to use a tobacco basket. You can use a, you can use any type of basket. You can use any type of container that looks something like this. So, but um, the the tobacco basket I got from Hobby Lobby last year or the year before I can't remember when they have like their spring clearance. So I bought like they were only like two bucks and they were originally like sixteen or twenty dollars something like that. So I bought a ton of them. So I've been doing these. Um, basically these kind of wreaths in these tobacco baskets okay so this is how it looks when it's all done but I gotta I gotta um, I gotta take some of these um, what are these these things sometimes they call them tinsel whatever and I need to um, make sure this is all attached in there so you'll see all how this comes together so um, Let's go ahead and take this apart. I also have another one that I've already done. I'll show that at the end. So let's take this apart because all of this is not um, attached in here. All right, so I'm going to take all this stuff to the side. Just a second. Let me move my glue gun and make some more room for all of this. I don't know if I can move this here. Let me see if I'm still in frame and if I can move that up. Let me see. Nope, I'm not in frame if I do that. Okay, so we'll have to stick about right there. All right. Let me move my glue gun and all of that. Okay, so here's my roses and all of this. This goes out. This goes out. And for a picture, I'm trying to see where I want to put this. We'll put it right here. For a picture, I'm using um, this here from Dollar Tree. Um, I speak fluent sarcasm. Anyway, um, you don't really totally aren't able to read it, but it looks pretty to me because it's peeking out this little sign in the middle. So, but we'll put this in at the end. So this is Dollar Tree. All the floral you're going to see is Dollar Tree. This is the tobacco basket. So you can see what the form looks like. So if you want to create something like this and you don't have a tobacco basket, um, you can go to Hobby Lobby and see if they have any more. This was two, I, probably a year or two ago when I got it, but they probably still carry these. Um, like if you really want it in a Tabasco basket, you can um, use a coupon. Also, I heard Dollar General has these tobacco baskets. So, or if you have a basket something like this, um, you can use it. If you have, um, there's probably things that are shaped like this that are at Dollar Tree. So just keep an open mind for the basket part. Okay. Also, the butterflies that are going to be going in here. Are also Dollar Tree. Is there anything else? Oh, these little hearts. Remember the little hearts they have right now? Aren't they so adorable? May I have the grapevine wreath? Dollar Tree. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, it's all about the layering process in this. And the first layer that I like to put down, let me turn this over, is not the roses. Okay. The first layer just a second guys is this right here is the first layer also these were all really long so I went ahead and cut them with some wire cutters first so I need to use and oh and I got these from Dollar Tree also right now if they're still clearancing uh, Christmas stuff out they'll have these packs of gold when I've done the hauls and other crafts before I've said at Christmas time make sure you pick up either packs of like five or six packs of the gold or silver or a combination of both. Because if you use gold or silver, it goes with any projects, right? And especially if you see some gold or silver popping up, that just looks good. Then you don't have to worry about matching your, um, here we go, this is what this is called, a pipe cleaner. You don't have to worry about matching your pipe cleaner to your project. If a little bit of gold um, peeks through, that'll look awesome. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so I'm just using my pipe cleaner. And I think that's why I get confused and I always forget what the hell these pipe cleaners are called because I think they call them tinsel on the package at Dollar Tree. They don't call it pipe cleaners. So, anyway, I've always called them pipe cleaners. Okay, so that holds that in good. 
Okay, next layer, I want to, these, um, are these, yeah, these are also, um, these are also Dollar Tree. These are my Dollar Tree right now for spring. This was from Christmas. So remember, you guys, whenever you're doing this type of stuff, you do not have to stick with the floral of the season for that season. Always be thinking about other seasons that when you have the floral that you can use things for. Like these, I pick up a bunch because I know I can use those in any arrangement. That's not just Christmas. And especially be paying attention when they have, you know, they clearance the Christmas out <coughs> or whatever season it is. Um, so if uh, Dollar Tree clearances them out, you can get them for 50 cents. Anywhere else, clearances out. Just always be paying attention for those clearances after the season is up, no matter what season we're in. Okay. I'm working kind of far away, but okay, these, this was a whole bushel of these beautiful, I love these, these beautiful uh, little roses, little wild roses. Aren't those gorgeous? I like them because they, they look like they're, they're not really yellow. They look like they're a little bit like vintage or aged. So I'm just going to stick these in. They were a whole bushel, but I didn't have enough left because I used the other ones in another project. So, um, I only found them at one of my Dollar Trees. I, didn't, I haven't found them at my other ones. I only found them at one of them that I go to. So let me see if I can't stick. Yeah, there we go. I'm just sticking these already in what I already got going on. Just tucking it in. That's gorgeous. So we're, we're just building the background for these beautiful roses to go on to. Okay, so we have this. And then we have, I'm going to see if I can't do all, bundle all three of these together at the same time. And then we have this, and then we have the third one. This is the rose that we're doing. Let me show you. How gorgeous is that? Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? These look like expensive roses, and these are Dollar Tree roses. Yeah, fabulous. They basically look white with just a tinge of pink. So they just look like blush. And um, where this is going, my room, my bedroom, I'm redoing my bedroom, and I'm doing it um, in a, um, the words are just leaving my brain, French country um, style. So I think this is very French country. You got the, um, the country, this tobacco basket, and then to me the French part is all these beautiful flowers all layered together. So... And to me, French country means, you know, like a farmhouse, but a chic farmhouse, a shabby chic farmhouse style. To me, that's what French country means. So that's how I'm doing it. Okay, so now I went ahead and used my pipe cleaners and pipe cleanered all that in. So all this is attached now. Look how gorgeous this is, how we're just building it up. Okay, next, let's build the other side. First, we're just going to layer the same way. We got these. And you guys, aren't these gorgeous? These come in the white. They come in pink. They're it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, when you see these type of, they think they're, they're willow branches, I think they're calling them. When you see these willow branches, pick them up. And pick them up however much. I pick them up ten at a time. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to try to pretend I don't. I do. Because... Look how I'm using them. I'm using them in this type of a wreath form. Um, you can use them in a regular type of wreath form. You can use them in um, floral arrangements. You can just do so much with them. You can make swags with them. They're just, and they're gorgeous. Oh, I have them in my Christmas tree. And they're just hanging on my Christmas tree. Um, they're gorgeous. So, and it's hard to find a lot of them at one time. So when you see them, if you see, like they just put them out or something, Pick up 10 of them. I'll, uh, I probably pick up 15 to 20 at a time when I see them. I know that sounds like I'm overdoing it. But when you're doing floral stuff like this, you kind of need to overdo it to make it look right. You know? So. Okay, this right here is a, another one from um, Christmas. Okay. My Christmas floral. Um, I was missing a piece here, so I just took one of the gold ones. It doesn't matter. Okay. 
Okay, another pipe cleaner. In fact, it was very exciting uh, when they were clearancing, which they still are kind of clearancing some of the Christmas stuff at some of my Dollar Trees. Um, they were clearancing uh, the pipe cleaners left, and they were only 50 cents a bag. And I had probably picked up six, seven, eight bags of them. But don't you think I picked up? I picked up all they had left. At 50 cents, I was like, yeah, let me just take all these pipe cleaners right now. These gold ones. I wouldn't waste my money on buying red and blue and all that. Just get, unless you need that certain color because you want, you're using it for a project where you're going to actually see the pipe cleaner is really good. Otherwise, I would just pick up a bunch of the gold or the silver. And specifically, I'd pick up a bunch of the gold um, for myself, for my decor. But definitely pick them up. All right, Angela, stop talking about pipe cleaners. Okay, you know what? I thought I had three of these. Maybe they fell. Or did I stick too many? What the heck? Just a second, you guys. Okay. I thought I had more of these. Make sure I'm still in frame. There we go. I thought I had more of these, but I'm not Sam. I got some other stuff I'll spill in here. Okay, so I'm going to stick this in here. Just going to plop it in there like that. Okay. And let me see what I have up here on the floor. I got some other type of picks that we'll throw in here. So as you can see, you can use anything as long as it kind of it flows with your um, as long as it flows with your uh, the color you're using and the style. So I have these. These are another pick I got from uh, Dollar Tree. Aren't these fabulous? They come in this color. They come in white. They come in all kind of fabulous colors. So this is another pick. If I see them, I pick them up, and I pick up a lot of them. Just a second. I'm trying to get into. Oh, this is not going in very good. Just trying to just. There we go. Oh. There we go. We got that fitting in. All right. So that looks good. So we have all this filler going on. And now we want to do the roses. I'm so glad I did this video. I wasn't going to do it because I really didn't have, you know, you have to have energy to come on YouTube and to make a video. And I didn't have that much energy, but I thought, you know what? I know people want to see some DIYs and I'm always, I, you know, I talk about what I'm going to do in my YouTube videos, in my haul videos. So I'm like, you know what? I owe it to people to do the damn DIYs. So I said, don't be lazy. Turn on your camera and start talking. Okay. So now I put all three stems three all three row stems in and um i'm gonna um use my pipe cleaner on all three of them and get them all tie them in all together which will save me time perfect i didn't do this when i did the other arrangement but you know what it saves a lot of time there we go and it probably makes it more structurally sound because you're doing more at one time so it's more has more substance Hey, honey, I'm making a video. Okay. I'm on the World Wide Web. Okay, be careful. <laughs> I'll be careful. Okay, now the next thing I did is I have these nests that I made. I have a video. I'll try to connect it of how to make these nests. Okay, they're made out of burlap and then some of the moss. And then I got these butterflies from... Dollar Tree. Aren't they gorgeous? You guys, they have beautiful butterflies at Dollar Tree, so when you see those, that's another thing. Make sure you grab these butterflies. Okay, so I need to take some hot glue. Let me get my hot glue down over here. And I'm going to hot glue this butterfly. First, let me move. They have um, these little things on the back. They usually remove off pretty easily, these little clips. If you want to use, you can use a clip, but I want to use hot glue. So I'm going to take my hot glue, just a second, and I'm hot gluing my butterfly on, and I want to do it like at an angle, like this, because I'm going to put it on at an angle, okay? So now i got to get another glue stick for my glue gun. Okay, so then let's take... 
So what these are is I make these like little flowers out of the burlap, which really turns to like nest when I do it out of the burlap and then I put that um, moss in there. So then a lot of glue and let's stick this in. And I know I owe you guys some videos on how to make flowers and now how to make bird's nests. So I will do that. Also, you're going to see me. I have these big old wire cutters. <laughs> these things are awesome to cut these stems because these stems can be really hard to cut. Okay. I got to cut some of this the stem real quick to get it. I could have just let that go, but I want it out of here. Okay. This is not good. Your Tim Holtz scissors, those are also a good wire cutter. I can't find mine right now. That's why I'm using that big old wire cutter. <laughs> okay, so let's create another one of those. I got another butterfly and another one of the little nests that I make. And I really make them look like, there's a, it's a flower technique, but I use the burlap and then put the moss inside. Now it makes like a little bird's nest, right? So, again, let's take the little thing off the back. Put some glue on here. Okay, and we're going to glue this at a diagonal. So we want to go, this time we want to, at this diagonal, because I'm going to put it this way in here. Okay. Okay, again, I'm going to put some glue on here. So let me come over here. I'm probably off camera to do the glue, but I don't want to be using the hot glue over my arrangement and then glue drops on it. No, thank you. So we got our hot glue here. Let's glue this in. Okay. This looks gorgeous. Then I'm going to take the little, the little uh, grapevine part and just, I don't know, I think I'm just going to tuck them, tuck it in somewhere. Just because I think it looks good. Just a second. Let me see if I still want to use this or not. Yeah, I do. So let me just take a little... Actually, I don't need glue. Let's pipe cleaner in it. So take the pipe cleaner. <clears throat> and pipe cleaner it in. Just a second, just seeing where I can attach this. We could hot glue it in, but I kind of feel like the pipe cleaner might hold it better. Maybe, we'll see. Let's see if this holds it in good. Yeah, that held it in really good. So let's use a pipe cleaner again. Now you guys see what I said at Christmas time, make sure you buy a ton of those gold pipe cleaners. And this is the other reason I say to buy a bunch of the pipe cleaners at Christmas time or on clearance right now is because um, pipe cleaners are not cheap. They'll cost you three or, they can cost you three or four dollars in between seasons. And then you can't, and it's hard to get just a bag of gold or a bag of silver. They have all these damn colors. And um, I don't want a bag full of colored pipe cleaners. I don't need orange. I don't need red most of the time. So, and then when you go to buy it, if you can, whenever you can find just like one solid color, they charge. So, pick up the gold ones while you can. Really cheap at Dollar Tree. And or the silver ones, whichever. To me, the gold or the silver are neutral, so whatever you want to do. All right, just pipe cleaning this in. Cut this. Hopefully, I'm not too far off camera. Or okay. So that's it. Voila. Let me turn this around so you guys can see. Get myself in frame here. 
Let me move this junk out of the way. Everything has to be thrown out. And then I'll show you guys my other one, too. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I think that's gorgeous. So let me show you the other one that I made. So what these are, these are in my bedroom. Oh, I forgot about the, you know what I forgot? I forgot the, um, I was going to, remember I was going to put the sign in. But you guys, it's already so full. I don't need the sign, so I'm not going to worry about it. But these are going to flank. I have like a, a big farmhouse sign, a long one. That's like probably six feet long. You find those at Hobby Lobby. They'll say, welcome, farmhouse. Okay, well, I have that hung in, above my closet doors. And then flanking both sides are going to be these tobacco basket wreaths. Okay. So. Here's the other one. And I'm glad they don't both look the same. I'm, I'm, I'm totally happy about that, that they don't both look the same. We don't need them to both look the same. Similar, but not the same. Okay, so here's the other one that I made. This is the first one. So instead of butterflies here in the nest, I have birds. And those birds were a different color. I painted them, they were some weird color. I painted, I get them from Dollar Tree. I like to get the ones that are two in a pack. I paint them white with like kills or like gesso, and then you can paint them whatever color you want. So right now they're kind of a blushy pink, but yeah, this looks fabulous. And then that one of those coffee signs are in there. So like how I wanted to do last time. So I will have some close up pictures of everything so you can see the close up pictures at the end. And that's it you guys. I just want to show you how to make these tobacco, tobacco baskets. Tobacco basket wreaths. So that is it. Hope you guys are inspired. Let me know if you think you want to try your hand at one of these. Um, and that's it, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. Also, I have a, a group called um, Our Magical Little Place. Um, come join the group and look at everyone's beautiful creations, crafts, DIYs. And um, if you guys create something like this or if you have any DIY you've done or any craft you've done, you can go ahead and post in the group. Okay? All right. Talk to you guys in the next one. Toodaloo!